It's the first time that the two captains, Jean-Le Picard and Captain James T. Kirk, meet up together. And with me is Captain James T. Kirk, alias William Shatner. This is the seventh Star Trek film. Seven long films. <laughs> Report. Well, the seventh film is called Generations because the cast from Star Trek, The Next Generation, which is played in the yes. UK, well, that's their film. Now, there's a wonderful story in which they're able to include my character, mm -hmm. Captain Kirk. Was that weird, coming face to face with Captain Jean-Luc Picard? More than a bit strange. <laughs> so bizarre that even your audience will not believe it until they see it. Right, so it wasn't a clash of captains? It is not the clash of captains. It's two captains mm -hmm. working together mm -hmm. in order for the universe to be saved. Come back with me. Help me stop Soren. Make a difference again. Who am I to argue with the captain of the Enterprise? What's the name of that planet? Viridian 3? Yes. I take it the odds are against us and the situation is grim. You could say that. You know, if Spock were here, he'd say that I was an irrational, illogical human being for taking on a mission like that. Sounds like fun. You face many villains over your careers, Captain James T. Kirk. And in Generations, you face a new villain called Dr. Zorin. Tell us a bit about him. There is a devious character played by a devious man mm. named <laughs> Malcolm McDowell. You can say <laughs> He's an evil person, so evil. They say time is the fire in which we burn. Star Trek Generations takes us into a new time phase. Can you tell us a little bit about the Nexus? The Nexus is a powerful ribbon of energy. Dr. Soren is a brilliant uh, scientist who has discovered that this ray of energy makes you feel, um, the best way I can put it is makes you feel good. And he wants to go back and he'll do anything, including killing you, to get back. Captain Picard, who seeks the help of Captain Kirk, tries to stop him. Every ship which has approached the ribbon has either been destroyed or severely damaged. When you have explosions on the Starship Enterprise, is that really happening? <clears throat> I'm going to give you all the inside information about the making of Star Trek. Okay. Everything is real. Klingon vessel decoking directly ahead, sir. Talk it there, Bridge! Full disruptors! Let's go! A lot of films do movie magic and do dissolves and stuff. We don't want to do any of that phony stuff. We do it for real. Captain James T. Kirk, William Shatner, thank you very much for joining us today. My pleasure. <laughs> John Barrett.